Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jason here at Xenolithics, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory. Real quick, before we get anywhere in this episode, I just want to tell you guys real quick that we now have a Discord server, so if you guys want to go join that server, I'll leave the join link down in the description below so you guys can go join that whenever you want to. We're all friendly, you can play Minecraft with people there, other subscribers and things like that. So yeah guys, go make sure you join that. Again, link in the description. Anyways, welcome back to Sky Factory, guys. Today, I decided on what I'm going to be doing today is I want to get started on the Tinker's Construct stuff. Because like I said last time, I wanted to work on making a some bone or some flint or bone tools. So, let me actually break this thing. And I forgot this had FE5 on it. Okay, so, what we need to do is is we need to find a place to set this up. I kind of want to have like a Tinker's Construct Station, you know what I'm saying? So what I think I'm going to do is, is I think I may actually set it up back here. Uh, that seems to make the most sense. Um, I'm actually just going to do that. And then I'm going to take a couple planks. But basically, the cornerstone for all of this is blank patterns. And we're going to need plenty of these. Uh, we put one on top of a that to make a tool station put one there to make a part builder and I believe we put one on top of a plank and we get a stencil table so yeah that's all we need um, and then we need to actually make a new crafting station here perfect because I need one I need one that I can use get the cobble out oh, I noticed this last time how that cobble was slightly offset um, I should also be putting my string all together I understand that's probably bothering a lot of people. Lots and lots of string. There we go. Okay. So now what we need to do is, is we need to place down these little doohickeys. Put them down. I don't really know as if we need a pattern chest necessarily. Um, so yeah, the part builder, you basically build parts, the stencil tables where you take stations, uh, you take stencils, and this is how you construct said tools. So let's see, make tinkers construct tools. So I can only assume that means pickaxe, axe, and shovel, right? So let's see here, um, let's actually make some wood planks here. We'll just make everything out of wood because why not? Um... Oops, no, I can't I can't build any parts yet. I need to actually write the patterns first. So, we need a tool rod, which is basically a stick, so we don't actually need to make a tool rod pattern. We need a pickaxe head pattern. We need a excavate a hammer, a broad axe, a hatchet pattern. That, and then let's see what other stuff we need. So if we go to here and we click pickaxe, we need a binding. A shovel needs a binding, and a hatchet needs a binding also. So we need a binding pattern. Small binding. Take that. And then we could make a sword also, but that's going to be a little bit of extra stuff. Um, yeah, we need a sword blade and things like that. So we need to also, we need to make some, we need to get some flint. Because we're going to be making flint things. And so now we have the sten all the stencils we need. I'm actually going to make a pattern chest. How do you make a pattern chest? It's going to it should tell me. Jeez, dude. Pattern chest, pattern chest, pattern chest. What? Oops, hit I hit minimize. Where's the pattern chest at? Huh. Anyways, I switched my microphone back to my old one that I used before. Um, because that way you can actually hear me a little bit better. The one on my headset was not necessarily the best quality microphone. So I want to make sure that I did that correctly. So we need a blank pattern, sticks, and a wood plank on it with a chest. Well, we have a chest. We have sticks, wood planks, and a blank pattern. Easy enough. Just wood plank, chest, stick, blank pattern. Part chest. I need to eat. 
So now we can stick all of our patterns in here when we're done using them. So pickaxe head, we're going to put this here. Flint pickaxe head. Flint axe head. Flint shovel head. And then we need a, we need three flint bindings. And we could actually make flint tool rods, but that's not necessary because we... What? I think I made the wrong thing. Um... Pattern chest. Why wouldn't this come up before? A blank, okay, so a blank pattern surrounded by planks. Yeah, I did, uh, so I have no idea what a part chest is. See, I knew it was called a pattern chest, but I thought like, oh, maybe they changed it, so I didn't think anything of it. I have no idea what this thing is now. Um, break you, and I should stencil table tool station part builder. Put that there. There we go. Pattern chest. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally. Okay. So now we go to our tool station here and we click pickaxe. We throw one of those, one of those, and. Do I seriously have to have a tool rod? Oh my gosh. That's completely stupid. Fine. I'll make a tool rod pattern. Jesus. So apparently I need to make three flint tool rods goodness they actually look kind of cool they look like silver or something oh, I can't put a blank one in there okay so anyways I'm just gonna I'm not gonna throw that in there but I'm gonna throw that in there. so this put a pickaxe head make a pickaxe shovel make a shovel and an axe. There we go. So, for no reason whatsoever, we have a bunch of these tools that are going to break in literal seconds. Um, that you know, that's cool and all, but you know, really begs the question: What the heck are we going to use these for? So yeah, we can put this away. You really can't enchant these. Um. So yeah, but I guess uh, we can check that off. And we are done with the Wood Age, everybody. Wood Age is complete. Woohoo! So the next thing I wanted to do was that took a lot less time than I expected it to. So what I wanted to do is, is I wanted to make a field of grass. Now, the field of grass should be actually really quite simple to do. The only problem is I have absolutely no dirt barely any at all so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna take out some things from the bottom here I'm gonna go up to the top take out all these saplings throw all this stuff I took out up here and we are gonna get going to town on mining trees digging dirt all that stuff you guys again you guys already know the process I'm not gonna bore you with it so I'm gonna pause the recording real quick I'm gonna chop down a crap load of trees get a bunch of dirt and I'll meet you guys back when I'm done well, I'd have to say it's not the best look, but it's it's armor, I guess. <laughs> Alright, anyways, guys. So, uh, I had a really good round of trees. I actually um, broke some trees, and they were big, big trees. So, thankfully, I have a lot of saplings and a lot of silkworms and things like that left over. So, now I can hopefully finish this platform. I've already actually designated a platform. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I can uh, show you guys here in a second as I head out there. But this is what I've high tree. This is what I've come out come up with. It's again, it's nothing humongous, but it is quite a decent sized platform. It should spawn animals quite sufficiently. So I'm just hoping all goes well. So yes, let's start getting some grass blocks growing here with the grass seeds and we just keep on getting dirt more and more and more dirt by twerking trees to growth. I don't even, I don't, 
I have no idea how that works, but yeah. So yeah, this actually hasn't taken me too long. It's taken me a while, don't get me wrong, but it hasn't, uh, it, it's not taken too long. Ooh, it's not taking me too long, T. <laughs> Yay! It seems as if we got another big tree. No, we did not. I don't know if this grass will grow during the day, but I hope it does, because if it doesn't, then I'm going to be a little bit concerned. But yeah, anyways. Uh, none of it's done. Well, some of it was done. So yeah, for the, um, if you guys are ever lost, if I'm like explaining something, you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, try to check up at the top of the screen, um, because it'll tell you what the item is, and sometimes it'll have some really helpful little tool tips of what's actually going on. If, so if you're a little lost, just take a peek at the top of the screen, it'll tell you what item I'm looking at, and um, it'll tell you like for the seeds and um, crucibles and things like that it'll tell you what's exactly going on like see here look at the top that's when I was melting cobblestone you could have seen that and right here it's basically telling you at the top that it's dirt that there's dirt inside of it so oh no this isn't good Well, we can't really have this. But I don't have any torches. Um. Hmm. This is an issue. Alright, guys. Well, again, I'm going to finish a couple things up here. I'm, I'm probably going to end up finishing building this platform. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Oops. I apologize for that. I forgot to expand my window. <laughs> um, anyways, this is close enough to done. I mean, we got enough dirt on there anyways. And it's suitable enough to spawn animals. So we can check it off our achievement list. <laughs> so yeah, all these other things I think I can actually do really easily. Upgrade an existing tinker's tool with a metal part. Make a tinker's construct smeltery for processing ore. Make obsidian with a stone barrel and a second layer. A second layer, I actually like that, and I actually have an item, that there's an item that's in this, it's called an elevator, and there's different color ones, but I probably only end up building a white one, which is just wool around an ender pearl, and I was killing some uh, endermen off cam, and I got an ender pearl, so we can just use some, we can just use a singular stack of string and an ender pearl to make an elevator. Um... Sir, there, and then we drag it around this. Now we do actually need two for it to work properly, but there's our elevator. So yeah, guys, that's that achievement done. We checked it off our achievement book, and that's gonna have to about do it for this video. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but there wasn't really much to do except for you know just get a bunch of dirt, and of course that stuff you guys have already seen before. So basically, this was kind of just a video to say, hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> making videos um, and to be honest I would feel a little bit bad if I didn't get a Sky Factory video out today um, because I like doing Sky Factory stuff it's kind of fun so oh a tree grew that's what the problem is so you guys if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button down below as it lets me know you guys are enjoying the series and I'm doing my job properly um, and if you're new to the channel, if you have to do so, please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It's a big red button. Can't miss it. And right next to it, there's a little tiny bell. If you click that little thing, you'll get notified on every single platform that you're using that you have uh, YouTube on. So you don't miss out on a single upload from us. But yeah, um, don't forget to join the Discord server, guys. Once again, the link is in the description below. So if you guys have any interest in joining that, um, I'm pretty active there. So you can always talk with me. Um, along with a lot of the other people on uh, the channel. And you can also even uh, meet some new people and play Minecraft with them. Something like that. So yeah guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.